Today, we're serving you up a steaming hot helping of dirty drop bar goodness in this roundup of the top five gravel bikes for 2022. From feather light frames to reconfigured cross and road bikes, value budget options, and even a little extra squish, we are covering it all. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a video. Touted as a gnarlier Swiss army knife of gravel bikes, Canyon's Grizzle sits alongside its racier double-decker barred grail. These two gravel bikes share the same geometry bar some additional tyre clearance and a slightly elongated wheelbase for the Grizzle. We got our hands on the new carbon fibre Grizzle earlier this year. Check out just why it scored the holy grail of 5 stars by checking out our video review. Just click on the card above now. The Grizzle has been back in the news a few times since, first off as one of the earliest complete gravel bikes to include the all-new RockShox Rudy Ultimate Explorer suspension fork. Just this week though, Canyon has bolstered the Grizzle range even further, now adding some more budget-friendly builds based on an all-new alloy Grizzle frame set. Starting from just £1,499 with the Grizzle AL6, and ranging up to just shy of two grand for the Grizzle AL7 suspension with the RockShox Rudy base fork, these are some seriously good value options from the direct-to-market brand. Given how popular the carbon Grizzle has been, we have no doubt Canyon is going to sell a bucket load of these. Canyon has also added a size 3XS bike to the range for this aluminium model, which shorter riders will be delighted to hear. The new specialised Crux is claimed to be the world's lightest gravel bike, with builds drilled down, not literally, to just 7.25 kilograms for the eye-wateringly pricey S-Works model. With this new bike, Specialized has taken its flagship cyclocross frame and repositioned it firmly into the gravel racing category. We got to check out the new bike before anyone else in Belgium a few short weeks ago, so make sure you check out our first ride review video. Click on the card above now. It probably won't come as a surprise that Specialized has targeted weight as its number one headline here. The crux comes after the release of its UCI rule-breakingly light Athos road bike, from which this new gravel bike derives some of its featherweight characteristics. Despite the ultralight frame, you can fit up to 47mm wide tyres on 700C rims or 2.1-inch tyres on 650B rims. Could these just be the most generous tyre clearances you will find on a proper gravel race rig? Let us know in the comments. Specialized has stuck firmly to convention elsewhere, not only with the cylindrical tube shapes rather than aero profiling, but also with the lack of total cable integration at the front end and a standard, highly adaptable two-piece cockpit. Mechanics rejoice. We're sticking with the premium end of the market for this one, so you'll want to make sure you're sitting down before we get on to the pricing. The Villier Rave SLR is a totally new model from the Italian brand, with either all-road or dedicated gravel builds on offer. In fact, there's plenty of choice when it comes to your preferred setup, with options for 1x or 2x drivetrains, as well as Shimano, SRAM and Campagnolo group sets. The Rave an aerodynamically optimised aggressive race steed complements Villiers' existing Jena gravel bike, which features a more endurance-focused geometry and slightly wider tyre clearances. The Rave SLR uses fully integrated cable routing and a one-piece carbon cockpit for a super sleek front end. You'll need deep pockets to fork out for one though, with complete bikes starting at 8000 £680, ranging all the way up to a lofty £11,350 for the new Shimano Durace R9200 Di2 
option. Yikes. Stay tuned for more about the Villier Rave SLR as we will soon be putting one to the test. Updated for 2022, Trek's established gravel platform, the Checkpoint, comes in three different flavours. At the top end, we have the Checkpoint SLR, which is an aerodynamic, lightweight, racing-oriented gravel bike. The mid-range Carbon SL model features a more endurance-focused geometry and build, but still has the proven isospeed system on the seat tube. The Alloy Checkpoint ALR frame set rules the budget end of the 8 model range, giving an all-rounder that could be just as handy as a commuter or a winter road bike. We've just got this Checkpoint SL6 model in for testing, so look out for a more in-depth video featuring this bike very soon. Extensive mounting points are standard throughout the whole Checkpoint range, so there's no scrimping on bike packing setup options when it comes to the racier models. Both carbon fibre models also feature internal frame storage in the down tube, just as you see with the SWAT system on the Specialized Diverge. Pricing starts at £1,875 for the Alloy ALR4, ranging all the way up to £11,000 for the SLR9 ETAP. The new Cannondale Super 6 EVO SE is the brand's all-new, uncompromising, go-fast gravel race bike, sitting alongside the full-suspension Cannondale Topstone. Both the CX model and SE gravel build actually share the same frame set, with aerodynamically optimised tubes inspired by the road-going Super 6 EVO. The slackened 71-degree head tube angle delivers stability, while short chainstays are designed to keep handling nimble. A decent 45mm tyre clearance gives plenty of space for wider gravel tyres, while also giving generous mud clearance if you are using 33mm wide UCI legal cyclocross tyres. Beyond the frame set, the cyclocross and gravel models differ in terms of gearing, with a one by mechanical setup for the cyclocross build, which will set you back £3,800, or an electronic 2 by SRAM rival AXS ETAP drivetrain for fast-paced gravel racing, which adds £800 to the price. As Cannondale puts it, these bikes are built for chasing podiums, and they don't come cheap either. For more wallet-friendly options, the Cadex Crossbike and Topstone Alloy Gravel Bike starts at £1,050. So there you have it, five red-hot gravel bikes for 2022, from aero race steeds to mount-studded adventure rigs. Did we get it right? Let us know what your top five gravel bikes would be in the comments, and look out for more videos featuring the bikes in this list in the months to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to click on the bell icon so every time we upload a video, you will get a notification.